Hey guys, welcome to the show. I am Stephanie Garrett. And in today's video, we are going to be having a collective haul from Hobby Lobby, Joann's, and a few other places. And um, yeah, but we're going to have two hauls from two cities, Chicago and LA. All right. Nobody's here yet, but it's okay. I got to make sure that I can hear myself. All right. I came on a few minutes early. So, yeah. Somebody should be joining me soon here. Okay. Make sure that I can hear myself um, before. Let's see. Hello to the three people watching right now. <laughs> Can you hear me okay? Okay, sounds pretty good to me. Uh, if anything starts to sound weird, just let me know. Okay? All right. Okay. Ah, let's see. Just still doing... I think everything is set up. Okay. I tried to set it up beforehand, but yeah. All right, so uh, today I got some stuff from Hobby Lobby. This is the Chicago. I went to Chicago to see my family. And this is the stuff that I got at the Hobby Lobby in, um, what was this at, y'all? Orland Square. The Hobby Lobby in Orland Square in Chicago. All my Chicago peeps knows where that is. Those of you who are watching, okay, give this video a thumbs up, please. And definitely give me a follow on my social media. I'm at Stephanie Garrett Creative on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And at Stephanie Gary Designs of on Facebook and Instagram for my jewelry. So I might say that again later, but I just wanted to give you a reminder. And I'll also give me a uh, follow us over on, on our new uh, in our new Facebook group, SG Creative Studio. The link is down in the description. Come over. It's a very small little page right now. We're trying to grow it. And, um, you know, you can post your work and talk about whatever you want to talk about. If you do videos, you can post your videos, all kinds of fun stuff. Okay. That's SG Creative Studio. Again, all that, all those links that you need will be down in the description. So, got that out of the way. Now, this is a set, like I said, from the Orleans Square Hobby Lobby in Chicago. I went to Chicago. I was there for seven days, seven long, very, very long days. Um, I went to Michael's, too. I only got a couple things from Michael's there, but I'll show you that. And I'll try to keep my sniffling to a minimum, although I have to sneeze right now, so excuse me. Excuse me. Wait, one more. Okay. Try to keep my sniffling to a middle. <laughs> I took an allergy tablet. I have nasal sprays. The whole deal. Never helps. Until I get off the air and it stops. Crazy. So uh, I went to see my family in Chicago and I was there. I didn't really get to do any type of um, touristy anything. It was just a lot of, a lot of visiting and... Then things got weird. My husband and my mother-in-law, my nephew, and my son, and they got into a car accident and had to call 911 and rescue and fire. And luckily, everybody's okay. Everybody's just, you know, little was a little shaken. My husband's arm got a little messed up from the airbag. Uh, but my mother-in-law's car did not fare so well. So, yeah, her car is undrivable. But luckily, I just thank God everybody was okay. Because my son, it was he was in the car. My nephew, they're little kids. And then my mother-in-law's an elderly lady. And, of course, my husband. He was driving. So somebody broadsided him at an intersection. So that put a damper on the entire trip, y'all. And then, of course, the next day was my anniversary. <laughs> right? We only got a chance to go out to dinner. That's all we could do. Because it just, it, it's like it... It just kind of mess up the rest of the trip. You know, you, you ever go to go somewhere and you feel like you need a vacation from the vacation? <laughs> That's how we felt. So anyway, um, the highlight of the trip for me, well, the, you know, visiting family is always cool because you get to see your folks and your people and all that, right? So that's fine. But I did hit up a few stores while I was there. Uh, like I said, I went to uh, Hobby Lobby and I went to Joann's. I went to a couple of Joann's. I went to a Joann's out in Crestwood. <laughs> And I went to uh, one in Orland, Orland Park. Yes, Orland Park. Crestwood and Orland Park. Those are the two stores I went to. And I got some good stuff. And I will show you that. But let's go over the stuff I got at the Hobby Lobby in uh, Orland 
Orland Park, I think it's called, right? Orland, y'all know what the store is. Y'all live there, don't you? Look, <laughs> y'all know where it's at. Anyway, <laughs> those of you who are there, those of you who are not, you don't know where this is. It's just a suburb of Chicago, okay? All right. Now, like I said, I went to a Michaels. I did get into a Michaels when I was there. I didn't get a couple. I, don't, I didn't get a lot of Michaels. I got a couple of magazines. They're in my bag. They're the Where Women Create magazines, the newest versions. I got two of those, you know, different ones. I'm not going to show those because I got a lot to cover. And then I got these really cute little beads, um, these skull beads. I've gotten these before, but I have ne never seen these at another Hobby Lobby yet. Um, another Hobby Lobby, another Michaels yet. So they were on sale when I was there. Well, I, didn't, I don't have my autofocus on, y'all. So, yeah. Yeah, I should have turned the autofocus on because you can probably see it better. Let me see. I thought I didn't, you know, didn't think to correct it. Hold on. Yeah, well, you can't see them, but they're little, little crystal skulls. They're really pretty. Hey, D. Nicole. So these these skulls are just beautiful. They were 40% off when I went in that Michaels. So, and you only get four for this price. I'm not sure. I think these are $7.99. Normally the brown, you know, the brown um, tag. I think those are normally like $7.99. Uh-oh, hold on, y'all. Let me turn my phone off. I really don't like to have my phone buzzing when I'm live. I hear people do that all the time and I think it's so annoying. <laughs> so I'm turning mine off so I won't be that annoying person. But anyway, so I got these at the Michaels in Chicago and I got this confetti mix. Uh, I've forgotten about this stuff. It's really nice. I'm gonna try to do a master board using some of this stuff, you know, and on top of the master board, I think that'll be kind of cool. So that's really nice, yeah. Wait, you know what, let me lower this just a little bit so we can see better okay that might be better all right yeah there we go so i got this confetti mix and this was i don't know three three ninety nine two ninety nine something like that so that's what i got at uh the michaels here okay let's put that aside now for hobby lobby this is the one again like i said in orland park um hold on let me open this chat just a second. Okay. Um, yeah, they have some. This was a smaller store in Orland Park. So I got these stickers again. A paper studio when I went in there was on sale, but I, of course, I've used one of these and I will show you what I use it on. I, I managed to get a couple of pages uh, in my B journal made while I was there. Okay. And I will share that with you after the, at the end of the haul. So if you want to stick around for that, you can. All right, but I use one of these stickers. I love these stickers. I think they're so great. So they were 50% off when I got them. The B stickers, really cute. And then I hadn't seen these um, in the Hobby Lobby that I shop at here in LA, but they had them in Chicago. So I got them. These really pretty leaves. Look at how pretty fall. Y'all know I love a good fall leaf. Look at the colors, just beautiful. So I got that. Really, really pretty. That's what it looks like on the back. Just really beautiful leaves. Okay, so pretty. So, yeah. That's, they're really cute. I might have to pull up my new, my, my fall journal from last year or make a new one. I'm not sure. And then I got these, but I used one of these. I opened them to, to do some layouts in my B journal. So, this is what they look like on the back. Really cute little, um, I guess it's supposed to be farmhouse. I don't know. But I like them. I, I thought they were really nice. These little, you know, these stickers or whatever. Since I have them open, I will show them to you. We have a lot to cover. So so you get, you know, some of those. It's just really pretty. Get some of these. Really cute. There's little um, plants here. Really cute. Um, these are cute. I don't really use much blue in my work, but like I love this layout. They're so pretty. That little uh, cluster of like palms or whatever that is and flowers and stuff. I think that's so pretty. And then I think I use one of these and then I have this one. So that's in that pack. All right. And then um, I got this one. And this, I think, I don't know if I use one of these. I don't know. I don't remember. I'll see when I do show you the layout. I love that. It's so pretty. 
I love these. These are really nice. I'm going to try to uh, put some of these in my farmhouse journal as well. I think that they will go well in that. Okay, here's a couple more of these. And look at that. That's so pretty. Really pretty. You get three of each. Oh, no. Here's the other two. Okay, this seems nice. And then this one. I love this one, too. Very pretty. So that's what comes in that one, just die cuts. Um, so I was able to grab that. I went looking for the bump, but the bubblegum beads. I didn't find those. <laughs> those are long gone. I guess people got those. I was hoping to grab a few, but everybody had those. So then this is what that looks. These are new to me. I'm, they may have been out, but I had never seen them at the Hobby Lobbies that I shop at. So there's that. Okay. Now, let me show you this. I'll go over that in a second. This is really cool. These um, planetary type die cut stickers. I think these are so cool. Like, I'll show you the, you know, the one that runs on the back here. Really cool. And I love that you get different sizes in here. So this is what it looks like. Really, really cool. This is all the planets. I'm assuming 10 designs. So. Yeah. All right. So that's very cool. This again, new to me. They may have been out, but I had never seen them. So I grabbed them. These are three packs that I hadn't seen in the stores that I go to. So, um, and then I grabbed this trim. Y'all know I get, uh, I grabbed the trim when I see it in the remnants area where they have all the, the leftover fabric. This is where I find the trim. This trim was $2.19. Okay, and then look at it. It's just a little piece. Well, look at how cute. It's so cute with the little beads on there. That's so cute. I don't really have anything gray, but I can definitely lay it off the side of a of a page. Um, on one of my, I, I, don't, I don't know. There's a few journals I could probably put this in. I was just thinking about that, but I just love these little beads. Just so beautiful. Just a little bitty piece of trim. So that was two bucks. All right. So I grabbed that in the remnants area. Somebody always asks me where I find the trim, this type of trim. It's where they have the fabric remnants. You have to ask somebody in the um, fabric department where they keep their remnants. And then, you know, just take a look at see what they have in that section. All right. All right. So got that. And then... Um, I saw this on clearance. These are two inch head pins, stainless steel, 40 pieces. So I decided to go ahead and grab those. I don't know. Hold on, guys. Let me see about doing my, uh, fixing my autofocus here. One second. Let's see here. Give me a second. Um, oh, just a second. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it's loading. Let me see. I think I might turn it off. Oh, we'll see. If it gets annoying, I'll turn it back on. But uh, I want to be able to see stuff up close. So, all right. So let's see if it works. Let's see. Does it work? Let's see. Can, does it, oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Pardon my nails. <laughs> I've had uh, my nail dragging luggage through the airport and did with my kid. My nails look a mess, so. But yeah, those are the head pins, okay? So let's see. Let's see the little fabric the, uh, trim there. Really cute. See it up close. All right. So I got that. Dollar twenty-four. And then I love these flowers. I've been using these in my journal layouts, and I'll show them to you. Um, I'm, I only have a few left in another package, so I needed one more, and they were 50 off when I got them. These are really pretty. Let's see, will it focus, focus, focus? No, not that one. Okay. And then, y'all, did I get this? Yes, I got this at Hobby Lobby. And I want to say, well, I don't know if this stuff ever goes on sale, so I don't think it was on sale, if I remember correctly. This is just that little bee wax seal stamp. So I really want to uh, play around with this. You know, so I got that. And then I got the, um, the these are the wax 
sealing wax, but you put them in the glue gun. So I'm going to try and have fun with that. Okay, so I got that. That gold. And then I got like this white color. All right, so I figured that's enough for me. I was going to order the kit uh, from Amazon, but I decided to wait just because, you know, I'll see how I like this first. All right, so that's the first bag. All right. Put this back. Now, let's see. Uh Oh, well, you know what? I should go in order. Okay, so that was from Chicago. Now, so this is the, the uh, this other Hobby Lobby stuff is from today's trip here. All right, I went to Hobby Lobby today. And I got some stuff. So let me uh, take it out of the bag. Okay. A lot of good sale items. You'll be wondering what the heck is all this stuff for. And I will tell you. Too much. So much. Okay. All right. All right. So let's start. Now this. I have an idea for this, and this was a dollar ninety nine. It wasn't on sale, but uh, I have an idea to do this. Hi, Kimberly. So I'm gonna use this for a project. That's why I have it. So it's just a small one. I think Dollar Tree sells these. Um, but I went in Dollar Tree and I couldn't find them, so I just grabbed one at Hobby Lobby for a dollar ninety nine. So I got that. Now let me see here. Not too much. I mean, let's go over this stuff first, and I'll go over here. So I was in the sequin aisle trying to see if they had marked any more sequins down. And I thought these were so beautiful, y'all. Just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to have been on a sequin kick lately ever since doing my master boards and sprinkling the sequins on the master boards, which turned out great. I'm going to do a, probably another video um, of me using the master boards in a project. So stay tuned to the channel. All right. But um, I got some different kind of sequence. These are just beautiful. They were not on sale, $1.99, so I just grabbed them. All right, so got that. And then I got, this was on sale, 50 off, this jewelry cord. I love these colors. Uh, it was 50 off the $6.99. This is that wax cording. You can use this for bracelets or whatever you want, but you know what, guys, believe it or not, I have been using this for my journals. When I uh, sew my journals, this is the cording I use. And holds beautifully. So, and of course, you know, I still use it for jewelry too. So, I got that. These beautiful colors. Just beautiful. All right. So, I got that. All right. Let's uh, put this away. Get everything off the table. <laughs> everything that I'm showing you guys. Um, so, I got this like Dries Driftwood pieces. These were not on sale either. But... I need them for, I wanted them for projects. So uh, they're just a small little pieces of like driftwood. So yeah, I have them uh, for that. For project. Oh, and by the way, the, the uh, chat is only for subscribers. So if you like to chat, you can definitely become a subscriber of the channel and uh, eventually you can chat if you have a question or want to talk about something or whatever and make sure you put it in caps if you're talking to me and not to each other that would be great all right so i have it subscribers only because it cuts down on the trolls all right now um this stuff these were two dollars y'all and 38 cents they were 75 percent off i think these are like the little table stars like that right like the mesh not mesh but uh gauze but i got I got three white, and then I got this really pretty color. Okay, beautiful. They had a lot of different colors, y'all. Purple and blue, and they had a few different colors. Again, two dollars and thirty-eight cents. This is great for mixed media, and great for your artwork. If you do canvases and other, you know, mixed media type art, this is fabulous. That's why I got this stuff for my mixed media art. And also, you know, some for some art journaling and stuff like that. I did not have anything like this, so I got one of these. Again, two dollars and thirty-eight cents because they were seventy-five percent off the six ninety-nine. I got that color. I got this off-white. 
And I managed to score one uh, like last year at Joanne's too. I got that one for like four bucks, but it's huge. So that's like a, like a, it was like for Halloween, I think I got that one. Yeah. So I love this gauze stuff. I got this one, this color, and then I got the pink. So all these are going to be used for mixed media. All right. So I got six of those for $2.38 a piece. So yeah, let me take this off the table. They are all their, um, their spring items are now like 75% off. So run, run, run down there and grab yourself some uh, stuff. And wait till I show you guys what I got from Joann's. Y'all gonna flip your lids on this. Especially you mixed media queens. I got some great mixed media stuff from Joann's on clearance. Wait till you guys see that. All right, it's coming up right after I'm done with this. All right, so I got these cutting mats, and they were 75% off. Now, I got some of these for downstairs in the kitchen. Um, I actually took a couple because I need them for something, but I bought just another set, and they come in different colors. I just got the darker colors. They come, they come in brighter colors. So I got them for my table here for when I want to work on some uh, mixed media projects. So, yeah, I got those. You get four in there. I think these were whatever it was 75% off of $9.99 is. So, yeah, got that. All right. So I love those. So yeah. Hold on. Let's put that away. All right. I got stuff everywhere. And then look, I y'all, I got this cute apron. It was 75% off of $24.99. Oh wait, sorry, it's flashing out. <laughs> it's dark. It was 75% off of $24.99. Spring shop. And it's denim, the dark denim. <gasps> Don't we love? And it fits so cute, y'all. It's so cute on. It's one size. It's one size fits all. Yeah, one size fits all. I was a little concerned, you know, some fluffy. <laughs> if you want to make sure it fits the fluffy people, and it does. And it's just so cute. It has pockets on it. It's just so cute. They had a lot of aprons on clearance, guys. A lot of aprons, not clearance, but on, well, 75% off is technically clearance, right? They had a lot of aprons. So I just love this one. I didn't really want anything with flowers on it or stuff like that. I, I saw this one. I thought it was really cool. I thought it was probably for a guy, but I like the denim. I love the dark denim. So I love that. I got myself an apron. For it was like eight bucks or something like that. A little over eight dollars, so that's a great deal down from $24.99. So yay, I'm so excited. I got the apron. All right, so we got that. All right, now let me see. All right, so the Chicago trip for Joann's. Um okay, let me pull all stuff out of the bag. Okay, hold on a second. Now, this stuff I'm showing you right here, all this is from the Orland Park store. This little stuff here. This little stuff I got at the Crestwood store. Okay. So, let's go over what I got at the Orland Park store um, in Chicago. I went to see my family for a week. All right. So, I grabbed this. All right. This little, um, you know, pom-pom shrimp. Really cute. I have the other colors. I just didn't have the yellow. And I wanted to try to see what it looked like in my bee journal. So we'll see. It's really cute. Right? Really cute. Like kind of light yellow. Love that. They had some Tim Holtz goodies that I have not seen at any of the stores that I shop at here in L.A. Um, they had a lot of stuff. And I go to a few different Joann's, y'all. And I have never seen any of this Timmy Holtz well, this stuff I've seen. This other stuff I have not seen at any of the Joann's that shop here in um, Los Angeles. So I saw when I when I was there, and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and grab it because I don't want to... I mean, I could order it, obviously, but why pay the shipping when it's just there? And it was on sale. And I used a coupon. So, I mean, I thought, you know what? I'm getting it. I'm going to have to stuff it in my bag, <laughs> drag it on the plane, and drag it back to California. <laughs> so that's what I did. So uh, it was on sale. Uh, these are the flashcards. These are really cool. They're different sizes. They used to be just really small size. Now they have different bigger sizes. So that's what they look like on the back. It's just different words and stuff. 
Okay, so really cool. I got those. I think these were probably 30 off, 40 off, something like that at the time. I had never seen these in, in a store. The stencils. These are really cool. I'm going to definitely try these. Really, really cool. That's what they look like on the bottom. Just different stencils like that. Little mixed media stencils there. Really cute. Get five pieces in there. And then I got these really cute uh, file cards. I was thinking about doing putting some of these on a jelly plate. I thought they would look so cool. And you get 16 pieces. You put the little card inside of the, the little pocket there. I thought that would make cute pockets in my journals. Especially if I jelly plated it or sprayed it with some, uh, some of my eye zincs. You know, my Seth after sprays. That's going to be cute, y'all. Really cute. So I got that. It's my Timmy Holtz from there. And then I got the Mica Flakes. Um, I don't I didn't own these. I have some Mica Flakes, but um they're different than these. So I decided to go ahead and grab them. So they look like on the back. Really nice, really cute. You know, Timmy Tim brings the, 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 the fabulousness to his stuff. Uh, yeah, translucent mica flakes. Ideal for creating nostalgic sparkles. So I thought that would be cool, especially for Christmas time. That's what I was thinking about. And then I got this uh, texture paste, translucent gloss paste. Ideal for creating dimensional effects. So that's what it looks like. Again, also be great around Christmas time. So that's why I got this, and it was on sale. Now, I was able to find this road trip. Again, I went to the Joann's here. <clears throat> excuse me no nobody has it and i can't even find the ephemeral or the little other little pieces to go with it so i saw they didn't have it there either but i did have the paper right so i decided to go ahead and grab it y'all but look it's all it's messed up because it was in my bag on the plane but i thought i don't care i'm just gonna shove it i'm gonna tear, you know probably tear it up anyway and put it in a drawer or something but so you know it's gonna get all messed up anyway but I really wanted this paper. I wanted the, the ephemera and stuff to go with it, but I wasn't able to find it, so I may have to order it. Like, that's cool. That's a cool page. I'm not a fan of the strawberries, but that's cool. I love this. I absolutely love that. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. Love that. Love that. Love that. Oh, I love that. This was on sale, I think, 40% off. Of, um, I think it's 40 off of $16.99. $16.99. This is pretty. Kind of reminds me of carousel a little bit. So you get the alphas, which I'm probably not going to use. And then you get the really pretty stickers. Look at the pretty stickers. Just beautiful. I know I got to hold it this way because the way my setup is. But I just love this. Really cute. All right. So I got that. And it's the project pad from Round Trip Maggie Holmes. And it has the gold foil accents from Joann's. All right, so I got that. Now that was from, what did I say? Or, uh, Orland Square. Not Orland Square, Orland, Orland Park, Joann's. <laughs> now here's the one from Crestwood. Let's see where this one is. was at. Uh, yeah, it says Crestwood, Illinois. Okay, little tiny little bitty Joann's. Here's the uh, particulars for those of my friends out in the uh, Illinois area, Chicago area. Check it out. It's a tiny little Joann's and a little bitty uh, strip mall place. So I got these. Now there's some more Tim Holtz. Again, I have never seen these out here at a store. So these are the transparent um, things. You get 10 pieces in here. Great for journals and stuff. So... And these are all from his newest collection. Everything I just showed you is from 2022. Yes, let me see. Yep, 2022. Oh, well, these say 2021, but I have never seen them, so. And then let me see. 2022 for that one. And I believe these are also, let's well, just 2021, but. So they probably came out late last year. But again, I've never seen them in the store. How do you organize everything? I am working on organizing my craft space. I have a, a video on my channel um should be on the latest playlist about my craft my studio my craft studio now i did it a few months ago 
but and my studio is a little bit of a mess now because I've been before I left I was kind of working on a bunch of stuff so it's a little unorganized now but it's still pretty much the same so you can check that video out on my channel a tour of my uh, art my art studio my craft room so yeah I just I have a whole drawer just with just Tim Holtz one of those um, Alex drawers that you get at Ikea I have an entire drawer just with Tim Holtz stuff. That's it. And I have an entire bin, like a huge bin, with nothing but Maggie Holmes stuff. So I try to keep it kind of organized by designer for the most part. I have an entire drawer just with, um, like, ephemera. I have an entire drawer with just, like, stamps and envelopes. And then, of course, my jewelry stuff is just all kind of mishmash but i have you know several drawers with just jewelry and beads and stuff like that so that's kind of how i kind of go for right now but we'll see how it goes in the future so anyway these are the transparent elements i like these a lot very cool and vintage all right so i got those really cute now let's see speaking of beads i got some beads right here some jewelry stuff all right let's see what we got All right, now, I haven't seen these in a, a Joann's in a long time. So when I saw these bracelets, I did a video on this. This video is on my channel of how I use the beads, on the big hole beads on these bracelets. Um, it should be on the bracelet playlist or in the latest playlist on my channel. Or it might be down in the description. I'm not sure. And I, I know I have some links down there for bracelets and stuff. But I saw these, and they were on sale, these... um. These type of little, you screw on, screw the balls, and you load your beads on there, and you screw the balls back on. I like these little bracelets, so I grabbed one of those, because I hadn't seen these in quite a long time at the Joann's that I shopped at. And then, y'all, I got some of these little tiny seed beads, right? They're so little. Teeny tiny. Teeny tiny. So I got some of those. So size 10, I believe that's what that says. Size 10. So I got the gold. I had got the black. In two millimeter, right? And then I got the silver. So, yeah, it's silver. Wait, just trying to focus. <laughs> so I got that. I got all all these on sale, like forty percent off or something like that. So, all right, now that is from the trip to Chicago. Now let me show you the Joann's, the stuff I got at Joann's from today, y'all, for my mixed media queens. Stand by. This one's going to be for you. <laughs> and my bag is tore up, so I got to find a new bag. Um, oh, God. Hold on. Well, and my bag is destroyed here, so I have to try to put it back in this bag. All right, so hang on. Okay. All right, so let's just move this. Oh, look at that. It's not even in the bag, y'all. Just a mess. So I'm going to have to take it out of here after I'm done. Okay, all right. Now. Oh, Lord. Hold on, y'all. Just a second. You, I just found another bag with Hobby Lobby stuff in it. So <laughs> from here, okay, I'll go back to Hobby Lobby in a second. I forgot I had um, some little stuff from Hobby Lobby. Now, I went to Joanne's today because I was looking for some stuff on clearance that I saw in Chicago, but I was like, oh, there's no way I'm bringing all this stuff back with me, right? I'll show you that in a second. It's right here. But of course, y'all know when I went to Joanne's, when I was also looking for the ephemera for the Maggie Holmes. So I didn't see that either, but I did see this color of that ribbon um it was 25 percent off additional 25 percent off of this 297 all right so i got some of that and it's so pretty y'all like it's just how just how it looks it's just so pretty 
that comes apart like that. This red is so pretty. So I thought that would be so cool for around Christmas time. You know, or Valentine's or whatever. You know, anytime you need a little pop of red. So I got that. I just, that's the only one I got. So, because I got a few more from before. Now, this fabric, y'all, was a dollar and something. Originally, $29.99. Then it went down to $14. And then with all the discounts, it was 75% off of a thing this. So, yeah, something like that, y'all. It, it ended up being less than $2. Just a little piece of fabric. But let's open it up and look at it. I'm, I'm excited. Because most people don't tend to like gaudy fabrics like this. But, of course, I do. <laughs> so, whenever I'm there... I try to grab some. Look at this. It is beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Look at this, y'all. I knew it was cute, but I didn't know it was this cute. It looks like at least a yard. Well, it might be. Yeah, it might be about a yard. Does it say a yard? Let me see what it says. Oh, no, it's not quite a yard, but it's, it's enough for me for what I need it for. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Can y'all imagine a journal cover out of that? Just beautiful. Or even um, like a bracelet cuff. Something like that. I had a number of ideas in my head when I saw this. So hold on. It's just... Hold on. Let me see if I can do it like that so we can see. That's gorgeous. Wow. That's such a great find. Such a great find. Wow, wow, wow. So pretty. Oh, wow. Don't we love? Wow, wow, wow. So that was an excellent find. I, I got real lucky at Joanne's today. I was a little shocked <laughs> when I saw this. I was like, wait, nobody wants this? I'll take it. Because <laughs> it's kind of gaudy, but I like gaudy. I like over the top. Y'all know that. Anybody watch my channel for longer than five minutes would know that. So I am so excited about this fabric. Oh, this could be such a cute journal. Or whatever else I make. Um, really, really cute. Even some cute little makeup bags. That would be cute as makeup, like makeup bags, right? Make a little uh, zipper pouches. That would be so cute. I think. So, all right. Y'all ready for the best part of the day? The best find of the day? Mixed Media Queens, feast your eyes. Drum roll, please. Bam. Look at this. This just so y'all was four dollars a piece, four dollars and some change a piece. I don't know how much it originally was. Art Art Alternatives, Alternatives, if I can say it, is actually a good brand. I have some um, of their markers, and I absolutely love them. They um, make really good quality products. Really good quality products. Um, this is black acrylic gesso. Again, it was how many ounces is this? This is a sixteen ounce tub. And it was a less than seven. It was less than that price. So I got it for like four dollars of change. I think it was four. Oh, where's my receipt? Let me see. Can I find it? Hold on. Oh, let me see. I'll tell you exactly. Give me a sec. Oh, hold on. Let me see. Black gesso. Well, how much was it? Four dollars and ten cents for this. Isn't that great? Look at that. So I got two tubs of that. There was the last two. So I got that. Four dollars and ten cents a piece. Now, check this other thing out that I got, y'all. <sighs> y'all ain't gonna believe this. Look at this. A 32 ounce tub of acrylic gesso. 32 ounces. It was ten dollars. I don't even know how much the original price was. Let me see. It doesn't even say. Um, this was six dollars and thirty-five cents for this thirty-two ounce size. So I got both. It was only two left, and I got both of them. So there's that, right? Oh, isn't that the greatest thing for the mixed media people? Oh my God! Cleaned up on the mediums because this stuff is so expensive. And when I see it on clearance, y'all, I just grab it and I just store it away because I can go through this like crazy. But once, especially once I start working on my canvases, I have probably 15 canvases in the garage of all sizes. Most of them are big sizes. 
like 12 by 16 size and bigger. I have some 24 by 48 size or 36 by 48, something like that. Some really big canvases. This and something like this will work great on that because it's a lot. Because you can probably go through, you know, depending on the size of the canvas, you can go through, you know, a quarter of this you know, for one canvas, one of those really big canvases. So, yeah, I couldn't believe it's fine. I saw this in Chicago and I said, oh, let me check the Joanne's by me because this is so heavy that I didn't want to be lugging it across country. I said, okay, let me let me see if I could find it in my area, right? And I went in there today and I found it. I was so excited. Oh, sorry, I'm shaking my camera. I was so excited to find this. This and then these. That is like the best thing ever. The best find since the Hobby Lobby stuff. <laughs> right? Since the Hobby Lobby sale, this is the next best find. So, hi, Sunny. Yes. So, I am so excited. So, all you mixed media king and queens watching me, run to your local Joann's because this stuff is on clearance and they have an additional off. And they even had some paint on sale. I didn't need any paint. But it wasn't nothing exciting. You know, I, I have a lot of paint already that I like. So I didn't need any more paint. But I thought the mediums are what's more expensive in the paint. So if you ever see mediums and things like that on sale or clearance, grab them. And you can always store it away and then use it, you know, at a later time. But, oh, that was the find of the day. That and this fabric was everything. This fabric is everything. Less than what what less than two dollars this fabric originally thirty dollar piece of fabric and I love these little frayed edges y'all I think that looks so pretty on like the side of a journal <coughs> excuse me let me get some water I was thinking about making because I made my avant garde journal but it turned out to be a little bit different than I wanted it to so I may try to do another one and make it differently than the one that I have now. It'll probably be a more mixed media style journal, like a soft cover. So yeah, I love that. I might use this for the for the uh, cover. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. I love that flower there. That's so pretty. So this was a find of the day. And then y'all, they had this. I think this is... Oh, I have another small little bag of Hobby Lobby stuff and then we'll be done and I will show you the B journal layout pages. They have this all-purpose sealer and I think... I don't know how much this was this. Let's see. Let me read here just a second. Oh, let me see. Sealer. This was three dollars and thirty-five cents for a eight-ounce bottle of sealer, all-purpose sealer. So you can use this. Uh, it says water-based, non-toxic. It says you can use it on. A, it says prepares wood, terracotta, paper mache, plaster. And other pore surfaces for crema coat. Okay, so yeah. Shake the bottle. Apply the seal with a brush over the surface. Let it dry thoroughly. So after, I guess after you paint, whatever you're going to paint, you can put it over. And you know what's interesting, y'all? Let me show y'all this. So I'm glad I got that because um, my stuff is outside drying. I'm going to show you what I just did recently. I was going to show them today, but I didn't get a chance to. Um, Let me see if I can show you guys here. Hold on. Okay, so you see these, my little uh, clay pieces. I made some clay pieces. So I'm going to use some of the sealer after I paint it to seal it in on the clay pieces. They came out so fabulous. So, yeah, just beautiful. Look at the faces there. So... Really, really cool. So I'm excited about that. They're outside drying right now. So when I'm done painting those, kind of doing the Fenibar style, I'm going to be using the sealer on that. So I'll see how that works out. All right. For three bucks, I'll try it. I thought I had some of this, but I don't. I have some other stuff. So these are the stuff, the things I snagged today, y'all, at Joann's and for the sale. So amazing. Uh, amazing. Oh, my God. I'm like over the moon. So I'm going to put this in the, in the area where my other gesso is. <laughs> and uh, we'll be in business. So when I start painting on my giant canvases, my big canvases, I will have some gesso. All right, let me put this back in the bag, y'all. Okay. Kind of heavy. Give me a second. Okay. 
Oh, hold on. I'm going to get all this stuff off my table because, sorry, I know this is making noise. I know because I don't have my microphone either. I got to order a new microphone that's coming, hopefully. I'm going to do a uh, order one here. Um, so, yeah, got that. Very excited about that. Now, this isn't a much, a lot of stuff. I got this before I left. I got this stuff from Hobby Lobby before I left. So, for my vacation. These giant cards, y'all. <laughs> uh, and then I got these two jars here. Hold on. Well, I got two of those. These were a dollar each. Hold on. So these were a dollar each when they were on sale. The, the, the all the glassware was um 50% off. So these I love these. So yeah, they were a dollar a piece. So I got those. And I had been doing my paint and then I showed them in my last um video, I believe, where I just put some paint in here, some acrylic paint with a little um flow medium and then i just it was able to do my splashes with that so i'm going to be putting some more paint in here probably i'm not sure yet i just wanted a couple of extra ones in case i decided to do that we know with some other colors so that works that's been working out great for that so these jars were great for a dollar hmm. i love those very very cute so i got those two and then i got these gigantic playing cards i think when i went in there y'all I don't know how much these were. They were cheap, though. They were probably a couple of dollars. Three dollars, maybe. Something like that. Three dollars and change. But let me pull one out so you can see it. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that the coolest thing? I have seen uh, several people grab these. Um, And I think that they're so cool, especially for mixed media. So, yeah. I love these. Um, oh, sorry. I'm hitting the camera. Um, let me see. What size are these? This side. I want to say 9 by 12, but I might be wrong. Oh no, y'all. Hold on, let's see. Let's measure. Give me this. Let's see. Let's measure. I'm thinking 9 by 12. It might be bigger than it. might be 12 by. I don't know. I don't, I don't even want to guess. Hold on. Let's see. Can I get my um, ruler here? So we have size of these. Oh, they're bigger than that. They're, um, so I'm going to say 15. So 11 by 15. So yeah, 11 and a quarter by 15. So let yeah, well, wait, I'm messing it up, y'all. No. Uh, yeah, like 11 by almost uh, 11 by like 15. Let's just go with that. Almost 11, but to like 10 and three quarters, 10 and a half, something like that. So that's a pretty big size. And I think these would be so cool to do some fun mixed media stuff on there. So I got those. I went in there the day they were all gone. I don't know if they put them in the clearance area. You know how they, they're cleaning, cleaning out that area, the 4th of July area for all the fall stuff. So these, that's how I got these and where the 4th of July stuff was, wherever that was. So if you're looking for these in that in, in the store, Probably be in the clearance area by now because they're putting out the fall stuff. So I just thought these were the coolest thing. I was like, oh, I have to find these king size playing cards. <laughs> so cool. So cool. All right. So yeah, I got those. Let me see. Let me look at another one here. Hold on. Hang on. Oh, wait. Let's see. Oh, yeah. So. Like that. Oh, okay. Look, I'm knocking on my whole situation to show these cards. <laughs> Gigantic playing cards. So they're so cool. Though. I think these will still be fun to uh, to play at like a uh, family gathering or something like that. After we've had a few cocktails. <laughs> you know, everybody's had a few cocktails. So I grabbed these before I left for my trip. All right. So there's that. Um, let's see. I think it be everything. Let me see. Hang on, hang on, hang on. 
I gotta wrap uh, these back up so they don't break. Now I gotta find a place um, to put all the stuff. Can't believe you were talking about organization. I gotta find out. I, bought, I got all this great stuff, and I gotta find some place to put it all. <laughs> well, we know the Tim Holtz stuff is going in the Tim Holtz drawer, um, and the fabric and the trim is going in that area. And that's the thing about getting like little hodgepodge stuff. You always gotta find places for it, you know. Um, I did get something from Amazon. But now this is this is it. So I thought it was gonna be bigger. And then you know, I guess you should have probably read their descriptions. This is just I did oh, let me go, let me say this before I start this. I did order some stuff for Amazon Prime Day, and that's coming um in later in the week. And then if I get a chance to, I will show it in another video, okay? It's only a few things. So, but it's some stuff I kind of had in my cart, and I wanted to go ahead and grab it while Amazon was having their sale uh, last week. But look, I got some pink foil. So, yeah, for my mixed media. I have gold. It's like silver. I think I got some copper. But I didn't have any pink. And I was like, oh, I got to get some pink. So, I got that. I, I thought they were going to be the bigger sheets. But, look, they're just like the size of my hand. <laughs> So, yeah, that's what you get. But if anybody's interested, I will put this down in the description just in case if somebody's interested, okay? All right. Now. Um, oh, well, let me see. Hold on. I'm looking around. Wait, what is this? Um, hold on. What's this? Oh. Oh, I did you. I it okay. Okay. Um, all right. Now, let's get on with the show. I'm just looking at see, make sure I don't have anything else to show. Because I had a few bags in this room. Mm, and I'm going to show this paper pad yet again. They did have some of these paper pads at the Orland Park store. When I went into the Joann's in Orland Park in Chicago, they had these paper pads and they were on sale. So if anybody is in that area, um, you can stop over there and uh, they had like a few, uh, like a little stack of these. All right. Now, I've shown this. Everybody loves this paper pad. So I've used this paper pad um, in this journal. I've taken out a lot of pages already. Okay. So, and use them in this journal. Right. Um, so let's go ahead and go over the, the pages that I did. I managed to get some, some stuff done because I was staying in my parents' house. And I mentioned earlier that my husband and I both are from Chicago, right? So when we go there as a family, he goes to see his mom and siblings, his sister, and I stay with my parents. So it's kind of hard for us to... You know, we try to see each other's families and then I got to go see his family. He's got to come see my family. So it's like a lot, right? But I stayed in my mom's house a couple of nights by myself. And my husband's like, well, just enjoy some me time because my son was playing with my nephew. And, you know, uh, he was at his mom's house and stuff like that. My husband was. So I thought, well, I can stay in my mom's house and just chill, right? Have a glass of wine. And so I'm, I took my journal with me specifically to work in it. Specifically, specific, y'all. Specific specifically to work in it right and but i what i did was before i left i prepped the pages so if you know you're going to be traveling right and you want to take something with you depending on where it is you're going you can prep your pages before you leave so when you get to where it is you're going and you have some downtime um which for me was always at night like after you know when i'm a, I'm a night owl so i stay up late um, I like to stay up late and I had the TV on and I had this on and or to my tablet. And so I was able to work in it. So you can prep your pages before you leave and just take um, like a little envelope of stuff with you. So let me show you what I took with me. Well, actually, I took two envelopes. 
This is all I took to Chicago. Well, yeah. <laughs> I messed this bag. Yeah. Right? And then I, oh, I took a little bag of, um, like, you know, for glue, my glue. And I have my glue in here and uh, my ruler and a couple pencils and stuff like that. So, and then this, this is falling apart. So, but I took, just took these things and I put it in my carry-on. And I took it on the plane. That's all I had. Just this stuff right here. But it was enough to get me through my time when I was there. So you can fill up just a little bit of stuff in your pouches. if you. Because some people don't like to take a bunch of stuff. I get it. It's hard. Especially when you're traveling with children. And all this other stuff. And you know. You got all this going on. Um, some people don't want to carry stuff with them, right? But I don't care. I don't mind. I need something to, to do while I'm there. Otherwise, I go a little stir crazy. And I like to be creative as often as I can, especially if I get a wild hair and have an idea. So I like to take stuff with me in order to work on it. But um, this is what I traveled with. And it was nice. It worked out great. It wasn't a lot of stuff, you know, for me. And then for me, it wasn't a lot. And uh, it worked out great. Let me read the chat. How do we has changed liquid to small to a faint to 4.99? Really? Oh, I got to check that out. I was in there today and it was still, what was it, 5.99? I have to check that out though. So that's cool. Thank you. So anyway, um, yeah. So if you have a journal, whether it's an art journal or a junk journal or whatever, just prep your pages before you leave. Uh, I literally did this the night that I packed in terms of prepping a lot of the pages. Well, I did this layout before, way before that. So this is the layout that I did before. All right. I still have to put some paper here because I messed up with the spray there. But it came out gorgeous. And this is a pocket. Okay. So I use, this is the master board pieces. Some of these are the master board pieces. Okay. And then I just added um, some little um, stuff here. I got to put... I kind of messed that up a little bit, but and then I had very limited limited lighting too in Missouri. In oh here in Missouri, okay, yeah, it's probably coming here West Coast probably some point. So I had to work with limited space and limited lighting. So what I had to do was y'all because I had limited lighting, I had to turn my light on on my phone. You know, my, you know, hey, most, this is Android. So a lot of phones have the flashlight on there and I had to like hold it over to the, <laughs> to see where I was putting my stuff because I couldn't, you know, the lighting was, uh, wasn't the best. So, but I made it work, right? So, but I did that before I left, but this other stuff, like I did this, I think it came out beautiful. That's the masterboard pieces that I created in the last, one of the last videos. The, the B masterboard um, video. Okay, so that's really cool. And see, I prepped the pages. I sprayed these pages with some of my sprays. My, um, what do you call these sprays? I think, and I also use some distress sprays. So I use all of these, not all of these, but you know, I use a lot of these sprays. And what I did was the night that I packed, Y'all, I literally just went through, sprayed them all, let it dry, you know, as dry as much as can as possible. Flip the page, sprayed it, let it dry as much as I can. Go back in there, pack, do some stuff, come back, spray it, let it dry, spray it, and like and so on and so forth. Because I wanted several pages to be able to work it, because I didn't know, you know, what would, what I would have going on. And again, like I like I said, I like to stay up late, so. When everybody else is sleeping, I like to do stuff, you know, creatively. I seem to get creative sometimes later in the evening. So I use all these sprays, you know, beforehand to prep my pages, you know. And then I took my all my stuff in my um my pouches with me. Now there's those little Hobby Lobby flowers. I, mean, I showed those in the hall. So they look gorgeous in the journal. Okay, I know it says it's not really a bee, but it's a butterfly, so close enough. I'm still not done with this. I just laid it down. These are layered pages, my jelly prints and some of my mark making pages back here. And I just put some stickers and stuff on there and flowers and embellishments. And I, of course, I sprayed this paper in the back, in the background. So like I sprayed this, you can't kind of see it a little bit. This is vellum. 
All right, now this one came out gorgeous. Um, I think I glued this down. I think so, yes. Oh, look at that, how pretty that is. And those are the um, Hobby Lobby flowers as well, these. So cute. So stinking cute. Right? Isn't that pretty? And then I just embellished it with the little um, stick. These are from Dollar Tree. And then there's some more just a little trim here. So I did that one. That came out gorgeous with the little kids there. And I did this one in the video. This is the one of my pieces of my uh, master board. Okay. Now I did this in an actual video. So like maybe two videos back, three videos back. Uh, the titles in the description of the video. So I did that layout. And then here is what I actually finished in Chicago. Isn't this layout fabulous? Oh my God. And that's one of the Hobby Lobby, new Hobby Lobby things that I grabbed because I, I wanted to put one of those in here because I wanted to see how it looked. And it looks fabulous. So what I did was these pages, I sprayed them with the sprays and I did splatters. And then I let it dry. I literally let it dry just face open. I went in, I started packing and, you know, you, when you pack, you got to clean your house and do all this stuff, right? So I just let it dry. And then I said, okay. So once it was dry, I put some papers between it just so it wouldn't stick together. And then I left it and went on to the next page. So when I got to Chicago and I had my downtime, I was able to sit and work on these pages. And, and these are all uh, my jelly prints sprays and stuff papers i sprayed and my jelly prints other um little background pages this some um collage paper these are the tim holtz bits some other tickets i had some burlap but look at the check out the little bees y'all i want to hold it close so you see look at the little bee stickers aren't they the cutest thing ever this is just so cute so it's to me for me if i junk journal this is how i like to do it I like to add my mixed media elements with this and I I sort of mix the mediums. You know, the mixed media with the junk journaling. That's how I like to junk journal. I don't think in the uh, proper context that that's the correct way um, for junk, junk journaling, you know. Junk journaling means junk stuff you dug up out of the trash can. <laughs> that's what people say it is, but for me, this is the way I like to junk journal, mixed media style, you know, a little bit of both. So I love the elements. I use a scrap. I like mixing of all the elements, mixing the scrapbook paper with the jelly prints, with the collage papers, with the mark making papers, right? With the stickers, with the embellishments. I love that sort of thing. It mixes so many mediums so well together and it looks fabulous when you do so, when you do so. And that's one of that's that one sticker I told you I used out of that package. Look at how cute that looks in the journal. And then that's my ladybug daughters from Jane Davenport, the big, big ones there. And technically, I'm gonna still do a little stamping on this page, I think, just kind of around, just to add a little interest. And I'm probably gonna add a sentiment on here. I may pull out a Tim Holtz sentiment and put it on there at some point, but I just wanted to show, share this with you. Look at the little bee. So I put like the bees are swarming. Remember, we were talking about. Well, I mentioned this in a video before, so in case some of you didn't see it, about telling a story. You know, I see our gentleman here, an amazing gentleman, African-American. I imagine him sitting on a porch in the summertime, hotter than fish grease outside. You know, the palms in the background, all the beautiful colors, and then the bee, the honeybees, or the big bees, or wasps, or whatever. Uh, is flying around and all the little ones are flying following her, the queen. And the butterfly is joining in. That's what I mean by telling a story with your layouts, right? You can always tell a story. It doesn't always have to just be thrown on the page and you just hope for the best. I mean, I guess it can be, but why not make it mean something to you, whatever it means to you. So that's when I saw, I said, oh, he's sitting there fanning himself with the hat on in the suit in the 1920s going, oh, child, it's hot out here <laughs> with all the, the bees and the foliage and stuff, you know, flying around and the butterflies in the summertime with the burlap and the old school writing here and the, with the uh, calligraphy. And then what I, not calligraphy, with the collage paper, sorry. 
And then I took my marker, because I took a marker with me. Let me get my little bag out, y'all. Hold on. And these are a little bag of those just little goodies I took with me. I didn't want to take a lot of stuff, just enough to work with. So I took my glue, my marker, which I just used just to go around it. I took a couple of glue sticks, you know, some things to keep the journal open with. Some, um, I took, um, I didn't even use this. I could have left this here. I took my little spatula in case I needed it. My pencil. I found a lid for that. <laughs> I don't know where that lid is. And look, I took a couple of my Tim Holtz crayons, which I don't use enough. I thought, I don't use these things enough. I need to start using these. So I use these in the journal, the Distress Crayons. This one is, what is this one called? Pumpkin, I think. Rusty Hinge. No, Rusty Hinge. Frayed Burlap. And this is Vintage Photo. So I took those with me. And of course, my Derwent um, Graphite Tint Pencil and Cocoa. I have that. And then also that I don't use enough of is my crayons. I absolutely love these crayons, y'all. These are these my King Art. Are these King Art? One of these is King Art. This one is Marabou. I love these. These are great. Mixed media crayons. Amazing. But I also pulled out my King Art crayons, which I don't use nearly enough. Let's see. Can y'all see that? King Art. It says King Art. Can't see it on the thing. It's not working for me. Let's see. It's not. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> these are the colors that I took. So I took these three with me and then, and then the markers. So if I decided I wanted to make a background, you know, while I'm traveling, I can do so, but I don't have a whole lot of stuff. So I have to kind of work with what I have, right? So you just work with what you have. I know this is probably way too much for most of y'all to be taking with you, but I'm just weird like that. So I take my stuff with me and then I just took a white marker. And I took a gold marker. Okay, my Posca. I mean, I have a smaller one, but I just grabbed this one. A couple of things of glue. Um, and my favorite pencil ever. Um, Derwent Ink Tense and um, Bart. So that's my favorite pencil. And my ruler. And then a water brush. Just one little water brush. As you can tell, I, I used it. So I took that. So I can use it when I use the crayons, I can move the, because I use it on here. So I can move the color around the page, right? And then what I did was I just left it open overnight so it could dry. And when I woke up the next morning, it was dry. And look, I also put a little bitty, hold on, let me see. Well, oh, wait, them problems. <laughs> just a second. I put a little bitty amount of gesso in one of these little bitty small tubes. Cause you don't need a whole lot for I could this is probably a couple of pages, right? A couple of pages to get you that's all you need. If you want something bigger, get a bigger one and put just a little bit a little bit of gesso in there and take it with you. Okay, so that's what I did. My ruler. When I took this crayon, this one is walnut stain. So that's all I that's what I took to work with. Right? I didn't take up a, a ton of stuff. I didn't take my whole craft room with me, but I took enough stuff. When I wanted to sit down and work on some stuff and decompress, that I was able to do that. So, but this page came out so beautiful. I was like, oh, yeah. So, as you can see, I just sprayed these pages before I left with um, a number of the sprays. The eye zinks and the distress sprays. And then just let it dry. I love how it dried like that on the background. Look at this one. I think this is Rusty Hinge. And this is Rusty Hinge and uh, this one. The eye zinc uh dye sprays okay and then i think i got up to here right that's as far as i got because i didn't i thought well okay that's enough but y'all wait i skipped a page just a second look at that and then that's the mixed media page i was going to work on this and then i decided to skip it and just go ahead and do this one but um i definitely am going to work on this one Probably not in this video because I don't think I have time, but when I do, I will show you, okay? Or maybe I'll do it in a separate video, but I already prepped the pages. So the pages are ready to go, pretty much. I might spray them a little bit with something. And if you do that, just oh, leave it open and let it dry. So if you decide you want to take this book with you, you can, you know, or whatever book you make, you know, to take with you. But I love this texture. This is, um, what is this? This is these crayons. 
Okay, these two crayons. Uh, well, actually, this one. Um, and this one. So this is these crayons with some gesso. That little bit of gesso that I showed you. And that's it. Right? I sprayed, uh, I think I sprayed a little bit beforehand. I'm just looking at the pages. I did spray it a little bit beforehand, and that's it. So now I have some pages ready to ready to go. You know, so I may start to sit here after I get off of air and just prep these other pages with some color, some sprays, and stuff like that. Because I am loving working in this journal. And you know, Dee Dee Willingham always says, she's not here today, normally she pops in on my lives, that you make something that you're going to stick with. If you don't feel like you're going to stick with it, don't even make it because it seems cute. Like, say, if you don't like, like, you might not like bees, right? You might not want a bee journal. Not everybody wants that. You may want a journal with about gardening. You may want a journal about fashion. Make something that you're going to stick with. I know that I will stick with this because I absolutely love how it's coming out. I'm loving working in this. I love flipping through it. It tells a story. I try to make all of my layouts tell a story. You know, I'm going to be adding some beautiful more p uh, pieces in here. I'm going to probably have to make another master board. But make sure that you love it so much that you know you're going to work with, work in it. You know, that you're going to stick with it and work with it. Like all the journals that I personally made, I handmade myself, I know that I love them and I'm going to stick with them and, and continue to work in them. Even if I don't do videos on them. I will just do maybe a share or something, you know, like an alive or whatever. But I absolutely love this page. All this is missing now is a little stamping and a little sentiment. Do I have time to stamp? I think I do. Let me see, y'all. Let me see. Let's see. Let's get a little something done. Let's just, we're here. I'm just going to do a little stamping because I can't do too much around. Right? Let's see. Let's pull out a few stamps. Here, let's put this back. I'm going to put all this stuff back. <laughs> Let's see. Do you shop at Ollie's? They have open here. No, they don't have Ollie's here in LA. D. Nicole. I've never seen an Ollie's out here. Let me see. Oh, I've heard of Ollie's, but that, you know what? Even in Chicago, I didn't see an Ollie's. They may have them there. I don't know, but I've never seen an Ollie's. Um, let's see. Let's pull out some Tim Holtz stamps. See, I like this one, but I don't know where I'm gonna put that. Well, we'll keep it up. Let's look at it. I'm gonna do this. Let's see. Oh, wait, we have some. Um, I think these will work out great. That'll hmm. be there. So cute. So we'll see that. All right, we don't need nothing too extravagant here. I like this stamp. Oh, I think that's it. That's all I have in my little bag here. So I kind of keep some of my stamps in. The stamps that I use the most, this is, a, I got this bag at the 99 cent store. So the stamps that I use the most, the inks and stuff, I just keep it in this little bag so I can just grab it. So that's one storage solution. All right, so let's see. Oh, okay, let's put all these crayons over here. Let's put the pencil back over here. Put the scissors back. I haven't put any of the stuff back. I just got back Sunday night. So I haven't had a chance to really put things back in order where they belong. Um, but, yeah, so let's keep that there off the table. So, uh, I pulled this out, right? Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I want that one. I like this one. Oh, but you know what? I need my little stamping block. My little generic stamping block. Hold on. Just a second. Let me find my little generic dollar store stamping block. I want to have one up here. I'll use that. It has seen better days. Okay, so I like that. Um, I like that. So, all right, I'm going to put that on there. I'll use my archival. Let's pull it down a little bit. And then let's just do this. Oh, I love that. 
Okay. Oh, very cool. All right. So, we love. Okay. So, got that one. Um, and this is a thing from a Halloween. Tim Holtz thingy. But you see how his stuff is so universal. You can use it for whenever. Right? Um, I'm just looking here. Give me a second. I really like this one. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how this looks. So I need something kind of small. Please open the king art. What king art? With this one? This 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 one? That's beautiful. That's a beautiful color. What color is this called? Brown. It's not a brown. It's like a it's like an orange brown. Um this one is yellow. These are fabulous. Fabulous. I've shown these in my hauls before. And these Marabou's are amazing. I got some of these in my Amazon cart right now in different colors. I but I got these actually at Hobby Lobby, y'all, on clearance a couple of years ago. And they're like one of my favorite crayons. I don't think I got two two black. Uh, I got like two sets that had black and white in them. So, yeah, these are great. I love these King Art ones. They're great. They're, I mean, I think this one's better. The Marabou is better. But these are just as comparable, you know, in my opinion, my little humble opinion <laughs> that's just what i think oh wait oh, y'all that's upside down <laughs> just a second let's see all right i'm just gonna <sighs> okay oh yeah that looks so cool so cool it adds something so great to the journal layout. I didn't. I didn't bring any stamps because I didn't want to again take everything in the kitchen sink with me. Uh, I didn't want to take a whole bunch of stuff, you know. So I didn't take stamps or anything. I said, "Well, I'll just do it when I get back," you know. Now I'm going to use my old French writing stamp, my favorite go-to. We all have a favorite. Let's see. Put that over there. I just want to. All I want to do is just this. Like, you know. Oh, they yeah, add so much. Oh, yeah. So cool. Oh, I love. That's so that is so amazing. It looks so much better. I mean, it was gorgeous before that, but just great. That's all I wanted to do was just a little something like that, you know? And then this one is like the splatters. See, that makes, makes it a mixed media. It is cool. So cool. All right. All right. Okay. Very cool. So let me hold it up for you so you can see. So it just adds a little bit more of something to it. You know. Tells a story. A hot summer day down in the south. <laughs> when it's 10,000 degrees outside. <laughs> and our fella here is hot in his suit. Probably come from church, ready to go home and eat a Sunday dinner, and uh, he's over it. He, well, he likes looking at the bees and all the plants and stuff. See, tell a story with your layouts. All right, I think um, for that, that's all I'm going to do with, with that one. Um, let me see. Let's see here. Um, I have. I don't want to make every page that color. Let's see. Mm, I'm just thinking, y'all. Give me a second. 
I think I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. I might spray this background. I may spray this with like some coffee or something. I have, where's my, hold on. I have sprays up here. This is butterscotch. Hold on. I gotta get the sprays out. This is tea. Oh, here's coffee. Coffee's kind of dark. It's a little dark. Hold on. I'm knocking everything over. All right. So I don't want it to be too dark. Like this, I could probably put coffee on. Let's uh, do a little spraying on that. So this is the Eyes Ink Seth After Spray and Coffee. I got this at Craftiness, where I'll be teaching my class at. And, uh, yeah. Oh, hold on, y'all. I took little clips with me so I can hold my journal open. I have my little gesso, which I'm going to use up before it dries out. So I'm just going to put that on here, spray it on here, see if I like it. And uh, if not, I will... Oh. Okay, let me uh, let's turn this table in half so I can put it. When you put it like this, you do it like this you put a piece behind there, and then you put a piece behind here. That way, the rest of your journal doesn't get all messed up if you don't want it to, if you don't care, then don't. But you know. So I just want to spray it a little bit. Prep the pages. I love that. That's for coffee. I'm going to use a couple sprays. This is tea. Okay, coffee and tea. And then um, I'm going to use some gold, of course. I like this butterscotch one. It's fabulous. All right, so you kind of mix them. You can spray it with water and let it run if you want, or take a napkin and dab it. Make sure it doesn't, you know. Uh, hold on, I don't have any napkins. <laughs> I don't have any napkins. Wait, I don't have a napkin. Let me see. So you can do that if it's too much. But and then, um, of course, gold. I always use gold. And then this is the uh, gold mine. It's called gold mine. Seth after. So we give it a little shimmer. All right. And I'll just leave it open and let it dry. So now the pages are now prepped for me to start working on. And so what I'll probably do is go through this journal and just spray it with different things. Spray the background. Use the crayons after the spray dries. Use the crayons on there. You know, maybe add a little gesso if I want on some of the pages. And then, or not. You know, it's uh, completely uh, a choice. I just like working in my journals this way. My junk journals even. So these are junk art journals or art junk journals. All right. So that's that. I just wanted to show you the pages were prepped. All right. So I probably have to do this one. Then, of course, after it dries, I'll do that side. And then some of them I might just leave as is. Like this one's already got stuff on it, so it's probably kind of it's kind of busy already. But then this one is a canvas waiting to be painted. So yeah, that's that. All right. So I'll leave you with that. All right. I think I think that's it. So I just wanted to share that with you, or you can even squish the pages together and do that. I wanted to add some sentiments, but I think it'll take me too long. So I'm already at a minute and 25 a minute, an hour and 25 <laughs> seconds a minute, y'all. Uh, so I just wanted to come on and share my haul and talk about my trip and share my finished um, journal pages with you. All right. So what's today? Monday. I'm going to try to go live again in the week, probably Wednesday, but we will see. And maybe even Friday. We'll see. If not Friday, maybe on the weekend, but we'll see. I'll uh, just you stay tuned to the channel. Give the video, give my channel a subscribe and hit the notification bell. So you'll be notified when the videos are uploaded. Okay. So when I do go live, you can catch it. 
And again, <clears throat> excuse me. Give me a follow on my other social media platforms. I'm Stephanie Garrett Creative on all platforms. I am uh, on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And at Stephanie Garrett Designs over on Facebook and Instagram for my jewelry. Coming up, again, more videos. I have an unboxing coming up. That will be coming up in the next few weeks. On unboxing and um, not even a tutorial. More so um, just like a create with me. That's coming jewelry stuff so prepare for that so again you want to be notified when the video is uploaded hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe channel or subscribe subscribe button god y'all i can't talk <laughs> and uh yeah all right so i thank you all for watching let me get my thumbnail here's gonna be my thumbnail right here y'all all right so let's just leave it open i'm gonna put some sentiments on this <laughs> oh yeah so all right Okay, I think it looks good. Yes? Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!